Hey guys, happy July. Um, coming to you with your July market update for Easton Park. Um, so as you can see here, we have 15 resale homes, both condos and single family homes active on the market. Um, and then we have 13 that are pending right now. Um, these are all resale, not new construction. Um, year to date, we have 36 properties that have closed resale in the neighborhood. Um, so things are moving along. Things are happening. Um, 13 pending. That's pretty good um, as far as activity goes. Um, for the ones that are all closed, we can look at the stats here. Okay, so this is single family and condos all combined into one. Average days on market is 39. Um, on average, the homes are selling for 94.14% of list price. So, you know, close to list price, but not quite list price. Um, average close price per square foot is 253.41. So we've been hovering all year in that 250 per square foot kind of range. Um, it's actually a little higher price per square foot for the condos versus the single families um, that have sold year to date. Um, also, average days on market for the condos is 33 versus the 36 for single family. Um, so they're selling a little bit faster and for a little bit more per square foot. I think that's just because obviously there's a lot of buyers who are really affected by these high interest rates. So um, the properties that are a little bit lower on the price are just a little bit easier for um, buyers to stomach right now. Um, let's see. The pending ones, let's kind of see where they would land uh, okay check the stats on these okay so for all of them they're also yeah 35 days on market average um, so all right about in that same range, 35, 36, um, that actually went down a little bit last month. It was around 40. So a lot of the properties that went pending in May and closed in June, that means they sold a little bit faster than the ones that went pending in, um, and closed in May. Um, so, you know, good signs of recovery for the market. Again, I do think that there's some seasonality to that. Like we're in, we're in July now. So we're a little bit past our typical peak season in Austin is April, May, June timeframe, um, before it gets too freaking hot. July and August, a lot of people are gone, um, getting out of the heat, going on vacation, that sort of thing. Um, we do usually have another pop in um, traffic around the like September, October area. Um, you know, people are here in town um, and it's right before the holidays. Um, and then again, for the holidays, it usually slows back down again. So I do think we'll continue to see some volatility as far as how fast things are selling um, as we head out of peak season and head back into that fall pop. Um, the interest rates continue to be pretty high in the high sixes, low sevens area. Um, so that's of course, continuing to throw a bucket of ice on the market, but you know, that being said, 36 average days on market, isn't bad. Um, average sales price around 250 a square foot isn't bad. Um, so things are still moving along. You can definitely still sell if you need to sell. Um, and if you're looking to buy and you can stomach the interest rates, it's definitely a great time to buy because that 94% of list price, you know, you're not having to pay sticker price for your home in this market. Um, and you have some leverage, a lot of sellers 
are helping out buyers with closing costs and temporary rate buy downs and things like that that can really help um, with the high interest rate issues. So um, you guys know I'm always here for you if you have any real estate questions or concerns about um, Easton Park real estate. Uh, even if you're looking into another area, I work all over the Austin metro area. Um, I just live in and specialize in Easton Park, of course. Um, but I hope you all have a great July and hopefully you're all getting out of the heat a little bit and going somewhere cool on vacation. Um, and I will see you next month.